guys, it's Xiao. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be my very first scrapbook with me video. I've been talking about how I really want to start scrapbooking because I have a lot of the Fuji film pictures just laying around. So for today's video, I'll be featuring photos from my dog Barry's first day home. If you guys like these type of videos, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel if you guys would like to see more videos from me. But with Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Alright guys, so the themes of these scrapbooking pages is going to be Barry's first day home. Barry is my dog. I showed him in a couple of my videos, but I took five photos of his first day home. So we're going to actually go ahead and split this into two separate pages. So the scrapbooking paper that I'll be using is from the Me and My Big Ideas paper pad that I got from Michaels. This was the pattern that I decided to use. It is just a light brown with dark brown polka dots. And the reason why I chose this is because when Barry was a baby, he was a very dark brown color, but now he has turned white. And this just really reminds me of him when he was a baby. And here is my scrapbooking binder. I uh, showed it in my previous uh, stationery haul, which I will link down below if you guys are interested. But it is just a planner binder that I'm turning into a scrapbooking binder. And these are the washi tapes that I'll be using in this video. The top two are from Hobby Lobby and then the rest are from Michaels. So the color scheme of these pages is going to be red, yellow, and black. The reason for red and yellow is because he is named after the Flash who is a superhero and his colors are red and yellow. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get started. So first what I did was I went ahead and laid out the photos the way that I wanted them to be taped down. So I'm going to do two photos on the first page and then three photos on the second page. So the, for the first um, page, I really wanted it to be more like an introductory um, to kind of show that these photos are from Barry's first day. And then the second page was just going to be more like decorations. So after this, we're going to go ahead and start decorating. And I'm going to start off with this sheet from the Heidi Swap storyline pack that I featured in my previous haul as well. I'm going to take this square sticker and I'm going to cut that in half because we're going to use them separately. So I'm going to take one side of that sticker and put it right next to the top poly photo like so. And then with that cut part, I'm going to face that towards um, the top side of the page because we're going to take a washi tape. So I'm taking the skinny red polka dot washi tape and put that right on top of where we cut to kind of cover it up. And then we're going to also going to put another layer right on top of that just to make it a little bit thicker so we can put in some text later. Next, I'm going to take these small paper pads that I got from Joanne's Fabric and I'm going to go in and take the yellow ones and put those right behind the pictures so a pop of yellow can show. So you can actually go ahead and cut these down to save paper and use them on multiple pictures. But me, I was too lazy so I just ended up taping the whole thing right behind the photo. So I'm just going to put them on the corners just so a little bit of color show. So I'm going to take my double sided tape and tape that onto the photo and then tape that onto the stock paper. I'm going to repeat these same steps to the other polar photo, but instead I'm going to put it on the top left just to kind of change it up a little bit. And then I'm adding in this gold foil um, dog themed washi tape right below that, but I actually went ahead and changed it up a little bit later, which I will show you guys. So here I wanted to add these dog washi tape, so I'm going to put that at the bottom of that bottom photo like so. And then taking the other half of that square sticker, I'm going to put that right next to the bottom Polaroid picture so we can add in some text a little bit later. Again, I wanted to add in a little bit more yellow, so I'm adding the skinny yellow striped washi tape and putting that right in between those two red washi tapes that we put down earlier. And I'm also going to go ahead and add that same yellow washi tape right on top of that bottom um, square sticker that we put down earlier and then I didn't want to use red in this box so I added this black washi tape right on top of that yellow but making sure that the yellow washi tape still stuck out a little bit. Next taking that red polka dot washi tape I cut it into kind of like a page flag and put that right below the Polaroid photo so I can go ahead and add in a text sticker so these are the stickers that I'll be using there are some gold foil text stickers and I'm just going to take one of those stickers and put that directly on top of that washi tape just to add a little bit of gold foil and text as well I also wanted to add different types of red washi tape so I'm taking this red glitter washi tape and I cut it to look like a banner and putting that right below the picture of Barry. 
Next, I did this off camera, but I took a yellow stock paper and cut it down. I also put some gold foil stickers and that is his birthday. I really wanted to make sure I put his birthday on this first page. We're gonna go ahead and put this right below that red glitter washi tape and then just glue that on. All right, moving on, we're gonna start adding on some alphabet stickers. So I really wanted some black alphabet stickers, but I only had white. So what I did was I took a black permanent marker and I colored in the letters that I needed and turned them black. So that is just a nice tip for you guys. So I'm just going ahead and putting Barry's name up top on those overlapping red washi tape and I'll write in some text in that box a little bit later. And here I'm gonna add Barry's full name into that red glitter washi tape. His full name is actually Barry Francis Allen, but I couldn't fit that in, so I'm just gonna do Barry Allen. And then with that gold foil washi tape that I moved earlier, I'm gonna move that up top just because I don't wanna waste it. And lastly, I'm just gonna add in some text in those square boxes. So this first box, I'm just gonna write Barry's first day home in cursive cap letters and also some bold letters. And then for the bottom one, I'm just adding Barry's first training lesson, which was very entertaining to watch. And that is pretty much it for this first page. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this into my scrapbook page. So I have these protective sheets from a Target. Again, I did go ahead and trim this down so it would fit the binder and we're just going to go ahead and insert that and we are done with the first page. Alright, so for the second page, like I stated earlier, it's going to be more decorative and not as much text. So what I'm going to start off is adding again the yellow stock paper behind the Polaroids. So this time I actually cut it just to save a little bit of paper and we're going to add those on the corners of the top and bottom polar pictures and then for that middle picture I took this red grid stock paper just to kind of change it up a little bit and putting that on the top right corner of that photo. All right, and then to fill up the empty space, I'm gonna add the round circle sticker from that Heidi Swap Storyline packet and put it right next to the middle photo. And moving on, we're gonna add that skinny yellow striped washi tape and put it right below the photo, the middle photo, and then take that same red glitter washi tape and put that directly below that one as well, showing a little bit of that yellow washi tape as well. And then to bring in that black washi tape, I'm gonna again kinda cut it into a page flag shape and put that right next to the bottom photo. And then I'm gonna cut up that red polka dot washi tape and cut that in half so it's a little bit skinnier and put those around the photos just again to kinda spread out the different colors. And then to fill out that empty round sticker, I'm gonna add in this text sticker from one of the Me and My Big Ideas sticker booklets and put that right in the center. Next, I wanted to add that um, dog sticker, of course, but I wanted to add a little bit more red, so I'm taking that same red washi tape, putting those right between the two Polaroids, and then I'm gonna put those dog washi tape stickers right on top so it has that red washi tape in the background peeking through. Next, taking the same method that I did earlier, I colored in the white alphabet stickers black and then I'm just putting Flash on top of that red glitter sticker, of course, because he is named after the Flash, so I thought that I would go ahead and put that down. And then, of course, like the nerd that I am, I did go ahead and cut out a little Flash symbol and putting that right at the end of the Flash alphabet sticker. So that is pretty much it for the second page. And then of course lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and insert this page into my scrapbooking binder. I think I might actually go ahead and where that first page is, I'm going to make a cover photo and then I'm just going to insert the pages so that I can see them without having to flip it, if that makes sense. So that might be a little future project that I might have to work on, but that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed how it turned out. I really, really liked it. Honestly, I was really nervous for scrapbooking because I don't feel like I'm the most artistic and that's me being real so i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know down below if you guys did give this video a thumbs up please let me know any comments requests or questions that you had below and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye guys